Hey you guys, ironheart 6 here and today I'm doing another Minecraft gameplay but this time I thought I would do something a little bit different and uh, pretty much do kind of a tutorial video and gonna focus more on redstone. Redstone is really interesting because it has a variety of applications in the game but um, some people have taken it farther to create much more interesting things much more uh, interesting uh, contraptions and all. So this video is going to be about redstone tutorial and it's really interesting. Now give me give me a sec guys. Um, let me connect the laptop because for some reason um, I always tend to connect my laptop uh, at the last minute when the battery's already running out. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now that I connected the uh, the um, laptop uh, laptop to the power charger and everything, uh, let's get right into it. So I went ahead and created. Uh, uh, a flat land, a flat area to do all sorts of things. So this is a flat region to pretty much do all different sorts of uh, different redstone contraptions and all. I completely purged it of any mobs. Um, the slime blocks got pretty annoying and I couldn't concentrate or anything. So let's get right into it. So y'all already know what this is. This is redstone. So basically what we're going to be doing today, today uh, for those of you in PVP and, uh, and all that, I'm going to be showing y'all how to create um, a sand, uh, sand house trap. Okay, and for that you'll need some redstone, some TNT, um, an observer. I'll, in case y'all don't know what that is, I'll let y'all know what it is, and some sand, uh, a sand of your choice. You can use red sand or regular sand. It, it doesn't matter, but anyway. But before I continue, let me get into the basics. Now, lamp. Now, it's a good thing that I purged it from any mobs or anything like that. Otherwise, I'll be, uh, that would be like really annoying right now. But anyway, so basically, an observer is um, it's a redstone device which pretty much. Um, sees the change uh, within a block and and when you place a block or um, what do you call it when you place a block or you break a block it um, it powers redstone now let me go ahead and break the sand for you can see what I'm talking about now notice this uh, notice the redstone Okay, now, I don't know what's going on or anything like that. Um, let me see. I, now, it could be that I'm lagging or something, who knows, but I usually don't have this trouble. Let's try it with stone. Hmm. Okay, let me let me try something differently. I usually don't have this trouble or anything like that. Okay, so let's say I place sand. Okay, and I go ahead and break it. As you can see, it powers. So now it's working and all. I think I think it didn't show earlier because of 
some lag issues or stuff like that. I always have that, uh, those type of issues. So let's try it again. As you can see, it powers when you break the block. Now, there is uh, also something else you can do. Now, let's say for instance, and let me Let me go ahead and fill this here. Okay, so let me put some stone. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you what this... Uh, what happens in this little scenario here. Okay, considering how blocks tend to stay in midair, okay, I put... One thing you have to keep in mind, you have to be conscious of the orientation, uh, your ori orientation when you place the block. In other words, if you're facing uh, from the side, uh, it's going to place at a certain rate rather than if you place it when you're in front. Okay. Okay. So let me let me go ahead and fly or something. Okay. Okay, give me a sec. I, I'm trying to fly here. Okay. Well, I guess this is good enough, you know. But, anyway. So, let's say I have sand here. And I place some sand here. Okay. Now, let me put a block here. Okay, redstone. Okay, so let's say I decide not to break um, the top block where the, where the observer is. Let's say I decide to break the bottom one. Okay, here's what happens. As you all know, gravity causes sand to fall, and the block uh, of the block of sand on top falls. And as a result, there's a change in this uh, in this particular block. So what happens is that the observer picks it up, and uh, you're left with um, you're left with current on your uh, your redstone. The redstone powers and it powers the the lamp like you just saw right now. Okay, and that's basically the basis of this um, the sand house. So the idea is uh, basically do a sand trap, a sand uh, sand house sand house trap for those of y'all who like to play pvp and everything um, this is how you do it so let's say you have um i'm gonna make it simple uh, i'm not gonna make it way too complicated or anything um you build your uh your your sand house okay make it like fairly simple not too complicated Okay. Okay.
Okay. So let's say. Okay. Now, let's say you, um, for some reason, you um, you want to hide out place you run from um, from the people who are trying to get you uh, on. Let's say you're in PvP and you're trying to run and you don't want uh, you don't want them to get you or anything. And let's say you have like let's say let's say you have like a door, like a trap door. Okay. You have a trap door here. Okay. Okay. Now, the deal is that. Okay, the deal is that you run, um, you run, you go into your trap house, of course you go under here and you escape and uh, everything, but the guys that are trying to get you, they don't know that. Um, you might have like some piston or something that completely, um, that completely blockades everything. Uh, everything here and all, or you probably blocked it off with obsidian or, or something like that. Okay, well, the deal is that one of the things that the other players might be tempted to do is um, pretty much just break one of the blocks from here. Okay, so let's say, for example, um, let's say, for example, that. I jump on here and and I put an observer, okay. And next to that, I put put some TNT. You can put as many as you want and all, okay. Okay. Okay, give me a sec. Always have trouble flying when I'm lagging and all. Okay, so basically the idea uh, idea is that you you cover it all around. You you give no suspicion that there's T TNT inside. Okay, you give no hints that there's TNT inside. Now. One of the things that the other players might be tempted to do is break in, like break in the side blocks or something like that. So as soon as they break in, lights up the TNT and kaboom. Okay, that's how you make... Um, a sand, uh, sand house trap. So anyway, guys, I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed this to video tutorial or, or gaming tutorial or whatever you want to call it and all. And this is just uh, a little, um, also a little brief intro in regard to uh, observers and all. Later on, as we progress, we'll make more interesting redstone tutorial videos and all but anyway guys uh thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and pledge to my patreon and i'll catch you guys next time bye